Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 gallery video. Today we're doing the art builds for Samaj. These are the ones that I ask you to just get creative and make something a little bit more interesting, maybe like a museum or something like that. And that's what we're going to be going through today. But in the theme uh, of the new expansion pack, I want the next one to be like island builds or maybe, maybe just like... Oh, tropical. We'll do tropical builds with Samaj because you don't have to have island living to be able to do one of these builds. You can make something that looks a little bit more tropical just on a regular lot. But I'd love to see some sort of tropical islandy themed builds next time around. I think that could be a lot of fun as well. But without further ado, the first build is the Historical Duty by Alana Martin. And I just I, I saw this uh, the thumbnail for this thing and I was just like, oh my God, uh, we have to look at this. So this is a museum in the shape of Abraham Lincoln or as close as I could get on a toilet. I don't know why, I just thought it would look funny. It has custom statues inside. Remember turn on move objects and it just looks hilarious. I mean, this thing, <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> this is hilarious. It actually, I just saw this and I'm just like, are you? You gotta be- <laughs> look at the face! It, it almost reminds me of like something from Minecraft, but it's in The Sims and it's sitting on a toilet. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Wait, what are you- what are- oh, those are the- I was like, what are these? These are the uh, little- the wall- yeah, these things. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is- oh, look at little doors there as well, look at that! You can get out onto the balconies, little hands. He's got a little hair at the back as well. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. So this is actually a museum called the Historical Duty. Let's go have a look inside. Alright, we're going in. I mean, but yeah, honestly, the 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 whole the whole art of it is is out here. This is this is this is it. This is all this is all I need to see, but we'll have a look inside too, of course. Alright, so we come in. Uh, we've got a beautiful little reception area. Uh, it's like, hey, welcome to the museum. Yeah, this is all we've got. Uh, yeah, so the stairs are actually outside and around the back. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, uh, just go around the toilet and then you'll be able to go up the stairs. <laughs> Mind your head on the toilet as well. You just, you know, you, you got to duck under a little bit. There we go. And then you sort of head up here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the gnome on the flamingo, but it's like sort of combined with the uh, the cockerel. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, so this is exactly the kind of stuff I wanted to see. Well, not only the exterior of the build, because that's amazing, but like just like all these different statues sort of combined in an interesting way. Oh, look, the hand is holding that gnome. Yeah, yeah, this, this is exactly what I wanted to see, because you can do some really interesting and creative things. Oh, it's like the ghost, um, the ghost gnome combined with like a tombstone. Yeah. This is awesome! This is- this is really, really cool. I- this is exactly what I wanted to see you guys doing. It's just something different, a little bit creative, such as Abraham Lincoln sitting on the toilet. Uh, <laughs> and come up here, we've got a lot of these sort of decorations. So that's one of the arms. Is this a- ah, oh, it's a bathroom. I, I should- oh, look at all the mirrors! I should- I should have guessed it was a bathroom first. You know me and guessing bathrooms. And that's the other arm. And I think that- that is it for the build. I mean, Oh, there's an empty, empty room. Wait, can you get up here? I don't think so. I don't think there's any way up. Uh, little lights. Oh, maybe there's lights in here so creepers don't spawn because it kind of looks like Minecraft. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the historical duty. I loved it. I loved it so much. It is amazing. Next up, we have the Sim Supply. It's simply called that, but it also says James Turner Arcade on the front by Luna of Time. Need a place to wind down and play some games? Come check out James Turner Arcade, a spacious place to have fun, drink, eat, dance, and make friends. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, I started it for the Wacky Bill, but it took so long, I couldn't have thought to put anything wackier than James. Himself, uh, so it's like but the thing is, it, yeah. So they started for wacky, they missed out, but then I mean, like this is art right here. Look at this. <laughs> the, look the resemblance. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> the little nose. What is it, a little rock that's like scaled down for the nostrils? That looks so good. And oh, they've used like the the smoke alarms or like headphones. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we've got like the sim supply over here, the little logo made out of- Oh my god, it's made out of bins as well. Is it because- is it because I always forget bins? Is that why you use those? <laughs> and then at the front we have the- the uh, sort of writing done with, I guess, the little pool lights again. Uh, oh no, wait, wait, and also, also, yeah, they made my shirt. Oh, I wish I was wearing that shirt. I'm wearing this- this llama shirt instead. Um, yeah, no, and then also I was just like, ah, oh, they've got pictures of Samaj inside. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's my self sim as well. Mm? Mm? <laughs> okay, so we've got a uh, nice little reception area, little plum bobs. 
I'm hoping that we see some more Samaj. Oh, that's cool. They do like a custom painting up there as well. Very nice. Can we come around here? Wait, hang on. You know what? You know what I'm going to say? What's behind this door? Is it the bathrooms? Because I'm going to guess that it is. <gasps> it is. I was right. How did I know? And then we got cubicle. Very nice. Very nice. And I'm going to guess that the other side is the same. Bathroom. <gasps> it is. And cubicle. One of these days, you guys are going to hide something behind, in like in a bathroom and I'm not going to see it. It's going to be amazing. All right. So, oh, look. Yeah. So we've got a bunch of bags that are dropped down here. Nice little detail. Oh, a little, little internet cafe area over here. A bunch of TVs. Oh, the, um, the holographic gaming machines, whatever they're called. Very nice. Lots of posters. Nice. Oh, nice art. Oh, you've used like that. So by the looks of it, you used like the uh, base game, that wallpaper, that sort of Caribbean wallpaper and then done a custom painting of it. That's actually really smart. That looks awesome. Uh, cool. Uh, and then we got the computers here. Lots of nice computers. Through this way, what do we have? Door number one. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess, either, yeah, they both go to the same place. Yes, I'm very happy that there's another Samaj in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> this is awesome though. This is really, this is actually really, really nice. I like this place. I think I might, uh, see, is it weird though if I put this in my game? <laughs> I was like, I think I'll put this in my game, but is it weird if I have this in my game of myself? <laughs> Any base? No, no basement here. But yeah, that's that's really really cool. I love that the uh, the Sims. What well, was it actually? The James Turner Arcade. <laughs> very very nice. Next up, we got the Hayen Museum. Uh, History. Uh, a long time ago, the existence of the Hayani people was denied by the government. Now, this is the only museum where you can find out what happens to them and the plan behind the creation of the Hayan Island. I, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to be saying this. A lot. Uh, oops. A lot of the history is still unknown, but scientists won't stop until the whole truth is discovered. The museum contains a restaurant and playrooms for toddlers and children. There is a hidden easel, which is required for a museum. I had to place one. <laughs> Okay, uh, by Basra11. Okay, so this one I've placed in uh, Strangerville because this, this is where it was built and I think it looks really, just looking at the build though, this looks super cool. I don't like looking through these windows, you can see some, look at this, it's like a hand in the cage and then like the stitch, I'm breaking out. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so the outside looks spectacular. And we got these few different levels here, like a rocket ship. Like so, do you reckon we could figure out what the story is? I don't know if I'm smart enough to be able to tell the story. <gasps> They're caged up. No, the story. Uh, we should probably go through the museum though. Oh, is that the, uh, <laughs> the the kids' playroom up there? Okay, so let's go down. Let's have a look. So we come down in the front. This it looks really cool. It looks like some old like factory or kind of something like that. So we come in here. Little oh dog bowl, so you can feed your pets while you're here. Um, where do you reckon we even, where do I go in? I guess, do I just continue through here? Because, wait, is this a door? Oh, it is a door. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a window. All right, so I'm going to go through here. Okay. Okay. And then to the left, we've got lots of little statues. Is this like a, it kind of looks like a gift shop to me. Maybe it is a gift shop. I'm not sure. Oh, and here's like the kids' playroom, little toddler table and all that. Very nice. Nice big windows too. This place is this, this place is very very nicely like built as well. And then this is the restaurant area in here as well. Very nice. Where is the um? Okay, if that's like a check-in place, where's the? Ah, oh, oh, hello. Oh, kitchen down here. Hang on, I'm going down now. Whoops, turn off the grid. So you come down here. You got the kitchen down here. This is actually really cool. You can play this play this as a restaurant. A little office room down here. A uh, little staff room with lockers. And a little bathroom. Very nice. I actually really like that. Didn't did not expect that in this place. I know it said restaurant as well, but like, I don't know. I didn't I didn't expect to actually find that. Uh, okay, so that's where the restaurant is. So this is. I think this is all kind of separate from the rest by the looks of it. So we probably want to go back outside. So that's the um the restaurant area and I guess gift shop by the looks of it. So we're gonna come down this way. Down the stairs and we come into the courtyard. Oh yes, yeah, so we've got like all these structures and then they've used like these uh, little stones as like plaques that will probably describe what's going on. So you're like, the scientists then discovered the people, I don't know, and stuff happened and it was really cool. And then this thing did us something and then the people were trapped, trapped in a cage of emotions. Um, and then there's a monkey bar here too. I guess that's just for kids to play on, to be honest. <laughs> that's probably for kids to play. I don't know if that's part of the museum. What happens in this door? Oh, hang on. There's more down here. Hello. What's it? There's all these hidden basement levels. Oh, it's bathrooms. Okay. 
Actually, this is actually very cool too. Ah, cool. So we go down here, and then this goes down to the bathrooms? Oh. Oh. I kind of like this. This is actually really cool. Whoa. These cubicles are way longer than I thought they were going to be. Like, I don't, I don't know. Then that, I don't know. That really shocked me. It's like, whoa. Whoa, dude. Sick. All right. And then if we go back up, I'm just going to go over here because the other stairs just went down here. Somewhere. Oh, no. Hang on. I've, wait. I got lost. Here we go. Went down here. And then, yeah, same thing. Toilets. Yeah. Nice. Really long cubicles, too. Beautiful. So go back up here. Go back up the stairs. Out of the secret passageway. <laughs> secret passageway. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess... Oh, hang on. I'll put the roof back up. Let's go up here now. See what's up the top of this building. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we can go around that way or we can go in here. Oh, very nice. Oh, this actually looks so... This looks so cool, though. This, like, definitely looks like some old uh, sort of warehousey factory building. I love it. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Uh, I love I love these little plaques everywhere that it's like it clearly in front of the displays. It's like, oh my God, wait, wait did kids discover? Did they figure it out or they're like spying on people? <laughs> this is actually so cool. I love that it's like telling the story like some boats and then I don't know, some wedding and then the village and then I don't know. And then these guys are doing some experiments trying to figure out what was going on. And then they found a skeleton and a, a child skeleton. I mean, and a tiny knight. Oh, that's cute. A little baby knight. <laughs> a baby knight. Uh, and then we go upstairs again. Oh, that's why we get this giant statue. That was, yeah, these, these look cool from the outside. More displays in here. So you can come around this way as well. Let's see the front of it. Yeah, they got little uh, plaques at the front. Little bench outside there. Okay. Continuing up again, we get to the roof and a few more. To, this is actually so cool. It's like, I wonder what the actual story is, because clearly the person making this was like, okay, this is the sort of timeline of the story. And then they started finding all the pieces to put it together. <laughs> it's so cool. And then the fish. Yay. This is oh, and then a little map in there as well. <laughs> I don't know. This is really cool. All right, let's go down. I really like this. Uh, so that's up here. Then out here was... Yeah, does this go anywhere? Or is this just like a balcony around the front, probably? Um, yeah, just a balcony. All right, so we come back down over this way. Then over here, yeah, we have another little display in there. Up top, another like kid's playroom, I guess. I feel like this would need really good air conditioning, though, because there's a lot of glass, and we are in the desert. <laughs> they would probably... Like, greenhouse... They will just be like burning alive in there, but it'd be beautiful because you could see them. Uh, all right, so we got a few flights of stairs here. This one goes up this way, up to this little display here. If nothing else, you would definitely get a workout in this museum. So we come around this way and then whoop, and go up these stairs through this little pillar. See this rocket up here? Nice. And I think that's it. I, unless there's more hidden basements I didn't see. Oh wait, where's a hidden easel? That's what I want to know. <laughs> they said uh, they said they hid an easel somewhere because they had to have one. Oh, look at this! They, get, they put uh, like a gnome in the uh, the play equipment out the front. Very nice. Oh yeah, what does this look like at nighttime? Actually, that's something I got to get in the habit of doing is checking out like nighttime builds. Oh yeah, that's like lit up there. Very nice. Broken down old sign there. Oh, they got a little they got a little lighthouse here that's actually been like sized all the way up because yeah, it's normally like this. That's really cool. That looks so good. Ah, uh, got him. There he is. He's hidden in there. <laughs> Very nice. I just had to find it because he said it was hidden. Okay, cool. So that was the Haiyan Museum History. Next up is the Underground Museum, which by the way, I looked at this and I was just like, how, how is this even, how did you do this? Uh, I was just like, I was shocked. Like, is this something you actually have to hand paint with terrain tools or is it like, can you import? I don't know. However you did it, it looked really cool. Anyway, and it's also worth $860,000, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. An underground museum with a stunning overground roof. Place with move objects on by Hano Hanoi. Han Hanoi. Sorry, I don't know how to say that. Like, look at this. It's just, it, it, I don't know. It, it's really amazing. I don't know how you did this. Like, it's obviously, obviously it's done with, like, terrain paints, but, like, how did you, how did you, did you do this by hand? Or, like... If you did this by hand, it's amazing. Even if you didn't, it's still really cool. But um, there is one little thing missing from it. Uh, maybe this, which I can fix now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Uh, so we've got a little, just a, basically a hidden staircase just here. And then this, whoops, this goes to the rest of the build, which is all underground. Whoa! Okay, the camera, sorry. So we come down here, we go through a door. Whoa, this completely changes tone from that to this. Okay. So we come into the museum. Very nice. Oh, it's like a, oh, the coat check. No way! I don't, I don't know, sorry, I don't know why that blew my mind so much, but I was really impressed by that. So it's a really, like, sleek, modern museum. So this place is worth- hang on a second, is this supposed to be- I think this is supposed to be open. Hold up. That's not- that's not their fault. I think- hang on. I don't think that's supposed to have a ceiling on it. Why is this- hang on. I'm actually not sure why that's not- This shouldn't have any flooring here, I don't know why that's there, that should be open. This is just not opening. Building ceiling remove- because when you remove it, this should be open. Okay, I don't- for some reason I can't get it to work. And I'm very sorry about that, but let's pretend it's open. Wow! Okay, so let's go around the room. So, this is just- I can, I guess, have a bit of everything? Little, like- is this, like, just gonna dis- this is, like, sort of, like, a playroom. Uh, is this gonna, like, display every piece of art or something? Look at this place. <laughs> very nice. Through here we've got the black and white room. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> yeah. In here, oh, this is like the, the real fan. This is the appreciation room. You got you got to come in here and sit down and really appreciate what you're looking at. Just be like, yep, that is art. Sorry, if my camera wasn't moving so fast, it'd be a little bit easier. Yep, I will appreciate. Yes, yes, good. Hmm, quite quite exquisite. Uh, bathrooms. Yes, I guessed it right. Look at this. Cubicles! Yeah! Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. Next! Very nice. Oh, there's like a- there's a kitchen in here. Oh, there's a cafeteria! Well, I guess more- more of a restaurant. Very nice! So you could turn this into a restaurant if you wanted. Uh, another kid's like sort of play area. Wait a second. <gasps> yep, they got the ball pit! Everyone's favorite! <laughs> okay, so that's there. And then where are we now? Oh, okay, back to the start. Right, so we need to go down now. Going down. Alright, so down- Oh, the, the collection room, like the gems and photo collection room. Look at this. You can see- wait, where's- which one's diamond? Is this diamond? I don't actually know what diamond in this game looks like. I don't know, it's one of those. Lots of stones. Alright, next one. Ooh! It's like the alien collection. This is- this is great. I love this. It's just like, uh, like every item collectible in The Sims 4 is just like in this museum. I don't know if that, that is actually what it is, more bathrooms, but kind of looks like it. Little pond area. Oh, little, oh, they got like fishing rods. Look at that. <laughs> little fishing rods hanging out there. Little fishing spot. Oh my gosh, all the fish as well. I feel like there's some missing. Or oh, they've just all been put up really high. I don't know why, but very nice. So the fishing room, then we've got the, the frog room. <laughs> this, this is great. And then we've got the, ah, oh, the Selva Dorada room. This is probably where a lot of the value in this place comes, because each of these plates is worth so much. And all these gold frogs as well. Ah, oh, the little excavator. This is great. Like, if you look here, you're like, oh, cool, I'm in Selva Dorada. Nope. Museum. And then over this side, oh, so we've got, like, the sort of the house, the traditional sort of house look and feel, like, and then the sort of archaeology stuff. And then over that side is, is like, the, the temples and all the excavation sites. <laughs> this is great. And then, oh, the bird, the bird collection, like the feather collection that you get from cats and dogs. That's so cool. And then all the fossils. <laughs> the, the giant, like, T-Rex skull. Dude, very cool. Uh, is this go down again or is this it? No, that's it. Oh, then there's like two, two empty rooms that I think were supposed to be open because it's supposed to be like this big hole, but for some reason it doesn't work, which is a shame. But that, that is cool. So not only this museum, Look at all these collections. Not only- oh my gosh. Not only this museum with all these collections, uh... Oh, that's the water. But, also, this on top. Impressive. Very impressive. Last but not least, we got the little French town, Old Town, by Miki Max 56789 This is a little downtown in small town. This town is in southern France, but the village has a secret that may destroy life of people that live in this town. You can find a museum, bar, or library. Okay, so what's the, what's the secret? But look at it. First of all, look at this. Beautiful. Abs I love these town ones. They're really cool. So we'll just have a look around outside first. We've got a nice, like, I, I, well, first of all, the parking out the front. We've got, like, the parking meter as well, and, like, the sort of subway map kind of thing. 
Oh, little, yeah, little sort of art stall out the front as well. Very cool. And then we've got... How, we, oh, we've got a couple of, yeah, a couple of food stalls. We've got some ice skating. Well, not ice skating, like roller rink. I guess you could change it to an ice skating in winter. Uh, I love, I love this though. I, I kind of, I wish that The Sims 4 was like this, like in the actual like worlds, like the town centers. Uh, but it'd have to be, they'd have to have enough Sims to like populate it. But how cool is it? Like, it's just such a nice little atmosphere. This whole place in here. It's so nice. What is the, there's like some dark secret in this town or something <laughs> that is going to destroy all their lives. Uh, cool. All right. So let's go have a look around at everything. So this first place here is obviously a restaurant. So let's have a look inside. It looks very nice. Wait, which door do I use? Maybe the other one. This is the restaurant. I guess like a little bistro kind of thing. Oh, that also I could use that door. See, that's the thing about these builds that you guys do. Like, the, not only is the outside like really nicely detailed, but then you go to the inside and it's still it's like just as detailed. It's there's so much like care and effort put into all of this. Like, look at this, like this little uh, cafe, like barista bar. And then behind it, you've also got the, the bar backing as well. So you can, you can imagine at nighttime, it becomes like, it turns into more of a bar than like a little cafe. Little food storage at the back. Bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a curtain. Is that those big windows there? Oh yeah, they are big windows there. Nice. I was like, because I couldn't work it out. I was like, is that a shower tub combo? No, it's just a, just a curtain. All right. So then we're going to go upstairs in this building. Let's see what's up top. I guess, does this go into like a little apartment complex kind of thing or? Yeah, it does. So nice little apartment up here. Very nice. Through here, we got the bathroom. There's a shower tub combo. That's what I'm talking about. And that goes through into the bedroom, which goes back into the living space. And then we just got the kitchen and that round over this side. Very nice. And then if we go up again, another floor, do we have another apartment or? Whoa, this one has got some color to it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Very nice. Got the hand out there. And then it looks like it's pretty much a, a similar sort of layout. A little bit different though. Wow, this, these, these people went all out in here. And then they got the bed and the angle and they got lots of colored flooring, you know? I'm, I'm waiting to see the secret. Am I going to miss the secret? I don't want to miss it. And then out here. Oh, cool. We've got like outside access as well. Very cool. So that was the first building there. And this one looks like a sort of chapel kind of thing. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, this looks great. This also, oh man, how, how I wish we could do the ceiling tiles. It would make it look so much better. So we've got the, the little chapel area in here. I love, I love the little plants and everything in here too. Look at this. Beautiful. Come around here. We can stand here. Give a, give a sermon. Uh, thou shalt. No, thou shall, not shalt, thou shall watch the Sim Supply videos. Thank you. And that concludes our hearing for today. How do you get up here? Oh, I don't think there is a way to get up here. There's no stairs. Um, organ up top. Okay. And then out here. So that was a little chapel. We'll have to look for secrets as well. I'm, I'm, look, I'm keeping an eye out, but we might have to find it at the end. Museum of Marsili. Mars Mars okay, cool. At Marsili? Oh. Whoa, those stairs are glitching out. Look at those stairs. <laughs> That's the Sims 4 for you, baby. All right, so we've got a museum in here. Very cool. Uh, what's over here? Bathroom? Yeah. Over this. Whoa, you cannot get onto those couches. <laughs> careful. I mean, you can, but uh, just be careful. Uh, over here, we've got bathroom. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go here. Going to go downstairs. Uh, oh, I'm going to go down. Hang on. There we go. Uh, cool. So we come down here. We've got a nice little museum area. Very nice. Is this where we're going to find some secrets now? I want to find some secrets. <laughs> uh, so that, yeah, wait, these two doors, yeah, they lead in here. Lots of statues. Very nice. I don't see any secrets yet. Unless this guy is the secret. All right, so back out the front of the museum. I think this is, well, it's a multi-level building. So there must be some stairs. Ah, here we go. Yeah, around the back. So this, I assume, will be some more like living quarters or something up here. Let's have a look. Going up. Uh, all right, first floor. Here we are. A uh, little foyer to the right. We have nice little apartment. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I like this couch here where it's like sort of put together into like a nice L shape as well, a little bed. So it's kind of like a little studio apartment in here. And then this goes to the bathroom. Yay. And then so then I guess the other side is a different apartment. Yeah. Cool. Another little, a little, oh, this is not a studio. It must have a separate bedroom. Yeah. Very nice. Cool. What is this? 
What, is this just not lo- oh, that was- that's weird. That's just not loading the window from inside. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know why, because it's actually a double window. So the, the game thinks I can't see it because I'm on this side. Yeah, okay, cool. I got it. Um, cool. So that's that apartment. Ooh, where am I now? Yeah, okay. So that's the top of that building. So then we're going to go down. I think we have, what, one more building left over here? That we haven't checked out yet. So this is some other building. And we'll find out what? Right now. Oh, it's a light. Oh, wow, this looks great. Maybe this has a secret. <gasps> Maybe it's hidden behind a bookcase. Oh, this looks amazing though, doesn't it? This looks so cool. I love this. All right, let's go upstairs. Whoop. This is really, really nice. Okay, I think that's it for this building though. Hang on. I get, we gotta jump out. Unless there's uh, I don't think there's anything up above that. So we did, I was gonna make sure we checked everything else. We saw this floor. We saw, well, we didn't see those. I was just checking. Uh, and then we've got these two floors that we saw all those apartments. Yep. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the secrets are. Maybe it's just that these people live in this apartment. <laughs> I don't know. If you saw, if you saw any dastardly plan, unless, hang on. Maybe, maybe it was at the front. Maybe it, that was like right here. No, I don't know. Uh, if you saw any dastardly plans, you must let me know. But yeah, this is the uh, little French town, old town. Uh, and that was the last build. So next, uh, I was gonna say next week. Next time we do a gallery video, we'll be doing the sort of tropical build for Samaj. Uh, sorry, hit the microphone. The tropical build for Samaj. Those will be like, I guess, island themed, vacation themed, you know, kind of island living theme, but you don't have to use island living if you don't have it, obviously. But I would love to see what you guys come up with. And I think that'd be a lot of fun. So if you want to download any of the builds that you saw today, uh, they will be linked down below as always, or you can look up everyone's uh, username that we listed throughout uh, the video or they are also listed in the description alongside their build there as well so you should be able to find them that way but thank you so much for watching let me know what your favorite build was down below i will see you next time and have an awesome day